Well, starting tomorrow night, the moon will be bathed in hues of red and orange. Just look at this photo. Really neat. So a total lunar eclipse will happen, lasting for about 90 minutes in one of the longest totalities of the decade. Now, it will be the first so-called blue moon in a year, and those of us in the eastern half of North America will have a prime seat for the whole show. So with more on what to expect, here's 11 Alive meteorologist Andrew Wilson. A lot of excitement this weekend regarding this total lunar eclipse. Now things are going to get started for the event right at about 9:25 p.m. Now that's going to be as the moon starts to move into that partial Earth shadow. So not a lot to see about at that time period. But once we get to about 10:27 uh, to about 11:29 p.m. even, that's going to be when we start to see that total lunar eclipse uh, starting to take place. The maximum eclipse at 12:11 a.m. and then that total lunar eclipse is really going to start to come to an end by about 1253 in the morning. Still a little bit to see as the moon passes back through that partial shadow of the Earth at 155 AM and then the whole event wraps up at 250 in the morning. OK, got to stay up late. Well, if the clouds break, the eclipse will be visible from anywhere in the lower 48 states. The folks at Fernbank Science Center in Atlanta are planning to capture this celestial moment. It'll be the first total lunar eclipse in our area since January of 2019, so you don't want to miss it. This is the best part. Planetary geologist R. Scott Harris says a beauty of this weekend's eclipse is you can take it all in without any fancy equipment. The best way to really enjoy it is just look up. Just look up there at the sky, watch that red color creep across the moon, and like I said, maybe keep your eye out for some little flashes of light where there's some debris may be hitting the moon, or who knows what you could see as those that shadow slips across it. Now, the Fernbank Science Center will have its 36-inch reflector telescope trained on the moon Sunday night starting at 10 p.m., and they plan to have the observatory open for the total time of the eclipse through 1 a.m., weather permitting. Now, if you can't catch this lunar eclipse, this year's second total eclipse will be early in the morning on November 8th, so time to mark your calendars for that one. But we've got you covered on tomorrow night's lunar eclipse with more online, of course, on 11alive.com.